if I've mentioned this or not, but Sharla, she's a musical. And it's pretty awesome living with a musical. I just thought that I should share that really quick. And also, thanks for the compliment, Nicole. I have been having really good hair lately. I don't know what it is. It's going out really nicely. I, I don't really know. She says that she <laughs> takes a swig from a milk jug. This is my milk. It's going to go bad before I get back from Thanksgiving, so I'm trying to finish it off really quick. I mean, I'm the one drinking out of it, so I can drink out of the carton, which is pretty sweet. And I also don't know if I mentioned this, but there's a cafe down the street, Magnolia's, and I've decided that I need to become a regular there. And so when I walk in, the waitresses are like, hey, Bradley, how are you today? Blah, blah, blah. And sometimes I could be like, oh, just the usual today. That sounds great, thanks. So that's my new plan. Their pancakes are literally this big. As big as the plates. It's really freaking cool. And Charlie keeps peeking at me from behind her closet to see what I'm talking about. Also, I lost my school ID this week somewhere between paying for my lunch here and walking to sit down here. It was gone. I was mad. I had to pay 10 bucks to get it back. And let's see. It is nice having my car here. I feel like I'm talking really fast just to try and get all this in really quickly before I have to finish packing to go home tomorrow. Yay! Anyway, so I'm excited to have my car here, but parking sucks, and paying for parking sucks, and I hate it. But it is kind of convenient, except for I don't drive that often. I really don't. I don't leave here. But it's okay. When I do get out, I make it worth it, and it's awesome. I also want to share... Now that the book sharing is over, you know, whatever. I have been rereading the Cirque du Freak books by Darren Shan. And yes, they made a really terrible movie about them, but I'm going to see it anyway because they're really good books. I really love them until the last two or three because they weren't so good. I was very disappointed by them. I am jealous that all of you are going to be at home eating Sharkies without me. Sad face. Do you see? Sad face. So I expect to see an NESW at Sharky's video, even though I'll be very jealous. So you guys should eat some Sharky's for me, drink some roasters or something, do something really Amarillo-y, just for fun. So, I'm going to finish packing my bags. I have one already packed, my bag for school tomorrow, in my cool new bag. My computer's going in there. Go to class with me. Have a have a quickie with Sharla. We're gonna we're gonna play Batman Uno before I leave. At about about two, I'm going to hit the road. So I will do more video then, and I guess I will post this when I get to Irving. I'll save and sound for Thanksgiving. So while I'm making my video, Sharla's gonna be playing with the border stuff. So if it's really distracting, I apologize. I don't. Also, it's gonna be really funny. So the challenge. I am going to go beyond the awesome stuff that Kayla mentioned and say that I am thankful for music, specifically live music, and being able to hear music. And so I'm going to say I'm thankful for my senses, as weird as that sounds. Like, being able to hear all this crazy music and see to take pictures of them, whatever. I'm also thankful that... You just clicked out there and it comes back. Okay. Whoops. I am also <laughs> thankful that you guys adopted me into your <laughs> channel, bam, because none of us were like, I didn't really hang out with you guys all the time or anything, I was kind of like outside of all that, so I'm glad that you adopted me onto your channel, and it feels really wow, and it's great. Also, I second the motion that we have a secret Santa, and I would also like to request that everyone make a mix CD, because I want to be able to hear everybody's music. You, look me up on YouTube only does so much for me. I want to like have the CD of it and like be able to share all of that with you guys. So here's the plan. Caleb and Emily, you guys are going to be a super songwriting duo and you're going to be super famous and all that stuff. And I'm going to take all your pictures. Kayla's going to direct all your videos. Christine and Nicole are going to produce it. And Sammy is going to advertise and be your manager. So we are, I think we should do that now. So get started and it'll be great. <laughs> Emily, I said next to your name on my sticky note, I said incorporate song. I'm not, oh, incorporate song into your novel. Use some of your songwriting and like, I know it's probably, it's completely ridiculous because it's sci-fi and stuff. So 
I don't see how a song would be good in there, but it sounded like a good idea at the time in the middle of the night when I wrote this. And also, if you can, you can see, that's what I wrote in response to the family tree because I love it and it was hilarious and I laughed really hard even though Charlotte was asleep. I don't think she noticed because she was pretty asleep. Uh, let's see. Oh, I would like to share some knowledge that I learned here at college because that's what college is for and also for rhyming all the time. But I would like to say, and I'm sorry if this offends anyone, but tights slash leggings are not pants. That is not sufficient pants wear. You need more than that. You need to wear real pants, ladies, okay? Or at least wear a skirt over your legging type things because that's too much information and I don't want to know about that about you, okay? So, we need to reverse this awful trend because it's terrible and I hate it. And also, since Kayla shared 150 Years of Darwin, this is the book that I had to read this summer, Remarkable Creatures, and it's about evolution and all that crazy Darwinian stuff, and then the guy came to talk and I didn't even go see him because I worked for Charla, so I kind of read it for nothing he and I was disgusted. He likes Led Zeppelin. He likes Led Zeppelin, so I kind of wish that I could see him. Speaking of Led Zeppelin, kind of, sort of, not really, I'd like to share the fact that I'm wearing my new Tom Waits shirt, and I think only Caleb has ever heard Tom Waits, but it's awesome, and I love it because his new two-disc live collection came out a couple of days ago. And one of the discs I would like to share is like 35 minutes of him just telling stories. And if you've never heard the man talk, you should find an interview and hear the man talk because he's got the greatest, like, gravelliest storytelling voice ever, and it's awesome. So, I leave for Thanksgiving in, times it, like three hours, and I'm really excited. And I hope that everyone has a really great Thanksgiving. That Emily, you get to see the Macy's Day Parade in person. How amazing would that be? I'm super jealous of that. And so I want to hear all about everyone's adventures. I'm super excited to see everybody's stuff this week and hear what you're all thankful. Wow, that was creepy. What are you all thankful for? I'm also thankful for webcam craziness and a roommate that will switch it all while I talk. So, have a good week, guys. I'll talk to you later. Hey, guys. So, you know what sucks really bad? Being stuck in traffic. I got out of Austin just fine. And then, after that, it was smooth sailing until I'm now outside of Waco. And I've been stuck in traffic. It's creeping along and it's really annoying. And people around me are looking at me kind of funny. Because I think some of them can see the camera and some of them can't. So, it's kind of... So, I just thought I would do a little video, part of the video, while I was traveling. And Charlie wasn't messing with things, so it wasn't so incredibly distracting, but that's okay. It's not like I'm that serious anyway. So, I stopped by Hey Cupcake before I left, and so I'm taking six dozen, six, not six dozen, I'm taking six, a half dozen. Six cupcakes, one of every flavor, two red velvet, because it's my favorite. To Thanksgiving since I decided I usually I bake pretty much everything but I'm really tired this year and I didn't really feel like baking so I decided I'd still contribute and take some cupcakes so that is my plan hopefully I'll get out of Waco here soon because much as I love me some Baylor I don't like being stuck on the highway so I hope everyone is excited because it's almost three o'clock, so I think everybody's almost out of classes, and if not, stick with it. You'll be out soon, and happy Thanksgiving break.